Yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy Drew, aka O Like Butter O. And uh, I told a bunch of people that I was gonna make a sniping tutorial because a lot of people have been asking me um, if I have any tips and stuff and uh, any ways that I can increase their sniping game. And uh, I did just that. So I came up with this little tutorial. It's not long, but it's got some really good tips in it for beginning snipers and um, upcoming and good snipers. So just stay tuned. And uh, what I did is I broke it down into categories. And the first category is lead shot. Now, everyone knows what the lead shot is. That's when you put your cursor head level high and you let them run into the shot like you just seen right there. And these, these are just a few examples of um, what a lead shot is when they're running, depending on the lag, which is, which is a big part of becoming a good sniper on Gears of War because it's a really laggy game. As you can see in the slow-mo, it was really laggy, so I had to lead them out even more. But um, another type of shot that I like to use is a sweep shot, which is when you just hard aim your cursor, not necessarily on their head, and you sweep it over their head with the right analog stick. And as you can see right there, that's a good example of it. What you want to make sure of is if they're walking around, you want to lead them out just like any other shot because of the lag. Like as you can see in this really slow-mo of this nice shot, how the cursor is a little bit after where he was going. There's another look at it. And um, here's an example. Here's a pretty good clip that I got the other day of a lead shot and a sweep shot. See, I lead him into the shot right there. And then after that, um, I just aim my cursor. When he moves, I take the shot and sweep it across. And next is the two-piece. Everyone loves the two-piece. It's very useful in close combat. As you can see, you just melee, and then uh, you want a pop shot, which is what we'll get to next. And here's, a, here's a just some shots right here of an example. Slow-mo. You always want a pop shot when you two-piece a little bit over their head and you want to make sure that you don't shoot too soon and as we were talking about we get to the pop shot the pop shot is just simply tapping the left trigger a little bit before the right trigger and it's a good way for um, short range shots like as you can see in this club right here and there's one he bitching like normal but um <laughs> here's slow mo of it um you want a pop shot if it's close range a little bit over their head just because if you're too close and you shoot them directly in the head it might hit their shoulder and it won't register but next category is the side roll shot now this shot was made famous by Iceman because he's so he's really good at it all basically all it is is a side roll and a pop shot and again remember you want to pop it over their head and you want to make sure you're the equal distance away so that you'll be right in line with them. Now we have rolling shots, which is just your opponent rolling different ways. We have front roll, we have another front roll, just an example, and then back roll, and then we have a side roll. Now these are good ways of getting kills because after they're done rolling, there is like a split second that they're standing still. Like as you can see in the slow mo, you wait till they're done rolling, you put your cursor where their head's gonna be, and then you just fire a little bit before their to their peak. And it just makes it's a really good um, way because people like to roll a lot in this game. It's a good way to get an easy headshot. Over cover is just like everyone knows how to do that. It's basically the same thing. You wanna lead your cursor to where their head's gonna be. You wanna wait until they're done squatting and then you just shoot. But I don't know if anyone knows this, but I swear I just heard the locusts do it. You crank that soldier boy. Hold on, let's listen to it again. You crank that soldier boy. I just noticed that. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, anyway. Fucking next is the zoomer. Now I'm not really fond of the zoomer because quite frankly it's not hard to play. 
but my boy Demon Punisher um, was gonna show me how to do it and he told me to make sure that the your no scope is on their head and you wanna um, tap the right thumbstick and then let go right as you let go of the aimer which is the left trigger so as you can see in slow-mo it zooms in for a split second but it's more accurate than no scoping because the cursor gets smaller but next is is the multi-kill which everyone knows is what i'm famous for because i'm so good at him and i'm gonna show you a trick on i don't think many people think about when getting multi-kills and it's a really good trick to learn because I've been sniping for so long, I've learned to um, reload without looking. And here's a nice stub right here, just an example. Now, I'll take another look at this real quick. As you can see, after I get the first headshot, you don't want to look at the symbol and be like, Oh, I got a headshot. Oh, look, okay, doesn't that look pretty? Fuck that bullshit. This whole time, you should be looking for the second guy to spot him. There he is. I spot the guy, and I make a nice shot on him. You don't, you don't want to waste your time looking at the fucking headshot symbol, because that's just a waste of your time. Reloading without looking is a big help, because, um... You, you can spend your time looking for the other opponent instead of actually looking up in the corner and you might miss someone. Here's another example of a nice multi-kill. Get the first headshot. Now this is where I start looking. Now you want to look on your screen, you're looking, you're looking. There he is. There he is, right here. I spot the guy. I get my reload. And I go and make attempt for the shot. Next is the Superman and the Spider-Man. Now, this is just a, to show, these are obviously set up, but just to show when Supermaning, you want to have it at their waist, and you want to shoot right as they're diving, and you'll know it's a Superman when they just, they fall right to the ground like that. So here's another, that's a Spider-Man right there. Now, that was by Demon, again. And you can see you want to aim at the ground when they roll, but I want to show you a shot. Look at that. And that's Demon freaking out, dude. We were, we were, when we were doing shots for this, we were screwing around. I think he was diving for Demon, and I got a great blind fire. He didn't know what was going on. That's a spider, man. That nigga did a handstand up in this bitch. And that dude is screaming. Oh my god. And this is the perspective from Demon. This is, there's me. <laughs> this shit was rigged. Oh my god. Alright, well, that was my small sniping tutorial. And I hope it helped you guys out. And if you got any questions, hit me up on AIM. My AIM is Drewy1888. I'll put it in the, uh, in the description. So just let me know if it helped or not. And uh, thanks for watching.